the terrorist attack at the St. Francis Catholic Church in our war is still fresh in our minds. And yesterday, many of the victims were laid to rest. So many people, people attended the governor of uh, Ondo State, Akiru Dolu, he was weeping because when he saw the number of dead bodies that were be, to be buried in a mass grave, he cried out that they failed to protect these people and the consequences is there. But there is a new development, a new angle to what happened at St. Francis Catholic Church in Owo, which you may not have known and that we are going to reveal that to you now. Before we go into that, to give you all these details, consider con uh, subscribing to our channel and also click on the notification bell so that anytime we have any updates, it will come directly to you. Please help us share this news and let it go viral because some people will find it interesting. Now, what is the new development that nobody has told you before? It has been on the back burner. Who are the people that have been affected by this bomb attack? And we have here 74 names of people who survived the attack. But they have different degrees, varying degrees of injuries, which they are nursing now. Some are in hospital, some have come out of hospital. And we have about 74 names of individuals that have these wounds. The amazing thing or the strange thing is that more than 50% of all these people who sustained injuries are of Igbo origin. They are Igbos, they are Igbo speaking, they are Igbo people living in our war and the neighborhood that went out to do their business. And then after they went to church, and this is what has happened to them. Nobody would even expect that such thing happening in our war, that Igbos will be involved. But there are two major reasons for this. First is that they have said it time without number that any place you go to in Nigeria and you don't find Igbo people doing business there, you should run for your life and know that the place is not fit for outsiders or foreigners to reside there. So they're everywhere. They are in a war also. That is number one reason. Igbo people are simply everywhere. Again, number two is that they are Christians, the Igbos. More than 95% Christians. And they have been Catholics mostly. Out of that 95%, more than 50 or even 80%, I could say, are Catholics. So they worship in Catholic uh, churches. Some of them are Anglican. If we are Pentecostal, the majority, a very huge majority, are Catholics. So when anything happens in any Catholic church, anywhere in Nigeria, Igbo people must be involved, one way or the other. Just take it or leave it. I never knew that there are Igbo people living in our war. But this, this incident has brought out everything to the fore. I see names like Eze, Chukwu, De, Ido, Kufoma, Ugu, Kletus, Miracle, Kelechi, Chioma again. Nselu is again, Ugu, Onuchuku, Ozurumba, Mweke, Arinze. Oh my goodness. Out of the 74, more than half have Igbo names. Yaru Suji, Asogwa, Uzade, Ude, Choba, Ojuku. Oh my goodness. Out of the 74 people that sustained injuries, about 50 has got Igbo names. The rest are Yoruba names and people from other parts of Nigeria, of course. 
from Edo and different other areas. So this is uh, the emerging fact. The Igbos are simply Catholic and this thing they did has affected many of them. Many of them sustained the injury. The question then is, how many of them are dead? I saw it in a, one of media reports that many of them that died are Igbos. People were saying, no, 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 you don't tribalize it, don't do this. But now, this is the stark reality. It is Igbo people that suffered most from this carnage. It is them. So people say to them, you are in the north, come back home. And they didn't come back from the north. Now they are in the southwest and everybody thought it's safe. But this is what has happened. So that is the demography of Nigeria. That is how the place is constituted. And some people are saying a kitty governor, former governor of a state was telling the people of um, the Igbos, if you want to anybody to be a president in Nigeria, you can make it. The only thing you have to do is go to everywhere you are living, get a PVC. Because in Abuja, he said majority are Igbos. In Lagos, Yorubas are majority, but the Igbos are very close behind them. In big cities, after the natives, the greatest number of people you will find are Igbos. So they can vote in Kano, they can vote in Medugri, Sokoto, in Benue, in uh, Lagos, in Ogun State, in Ondo State, in, in the Southeast itself. And when you combine all these votes, these people can determine every time who rules Nigeria. Forget about the theory that the North has the majority and the rest of them. Igbos are also part of the North voting there. So this is what happened in St. Francis Catholic Church, you know, was just for you to know the demography of the people, where they come from, and what has happened to them. This is the update we have for you, and we advise you to consider subscribing to our channel so that you get our updates all the time, especially when you click on the notification bell. Immediately we release the updates. They will come directly to you. We see you in our next video. Remain blessed.